Hi folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Steam, Rails to Riches. It's important to note that what you're looking at here is a preview build, so everything that you're about to see is subject to change. On top of that, I just got my press copy, so this is going to be a first impressions video, and I'll be learning as I go. Uh, this is based off of a board game that I've never played. I know, surprise, surprise. Um, I have about 400 board games in my collection, but this isn't one of them. So I am a Steam Rails to Riches newbie, as it were. So let's go ahead and learn how to play. Uh, options menu here. We've got music, sound effects, color blind mode, animation delay, and player notification delay. I have the music off for the sake of the commentary and to prevent copyright issues. Now, before the game launched, this game runs on the Unity engine, so I was able to adjust a uh, I was able to adjust screen resolution, toggle full screen, and adjust the graphics quality via a window pop up before the game actually launched. Okay, so let's go ahead. Now, there's help here, but I'm hoping that there's a tutorial as well. Um, Let's click on help and see if the tutorial's in here. Help and rules. Okay, play tutorial. Let's do that. You can download a PDF document. There's feedback. All right, let's play the tutorial. Uh, we'll do the basic tutorial. Start us off light. I wonder if... I don't know what the difference between basic and normal is. All right, well, anyway, welcome to the Steam game tutorial where you will learn the basics of Steam. For more information, please download the PDF instruction guide under help menu. Steam is a game about building railroads and delivering goods along the network of tracks. You build the tracks and improve your locomotive to make the longest, most profitable deliveries possible. Moving goods around the map scores points that add to your income or victory points. Okay, this is the game menu right here. Extra options here, okay. Here you have goods to add to cities. Compare locomotive level or income track level with other players, okay. Here you can hide and show tracks and cities which will be needed to build links. This is your information, or your player's information. It's all you need. Locomotive, victory points, income track, and coins are all displayed here. Now, is that for every player, I guess? Yeah, I guess so, because there's a Wallace, there's Martin, and there's a human. I'm assuming I'm the human. All right. Let's begin first round. Okay, a little bit a little bit lost in translation there, a little grammatical. But anyway, uh, there will be four phases each round. Select action keys, building tracks, moving with two O's goods, and income and expenses. Okay. Now we select an action card, which will help us through the turn. AI has taken the city growth action card, which will allow him to add goods to a city during this phase. Select the engineer action card. It will allow us to build one extra rail during the build phase. Okay. I guess this is the engineer here. There's numbers on them too, one through seven. I wonder if that's how they're resolved in that particular order. I don't know. Now it is the build phase where you have to build links to cities. Since AI has action card city growth, he will place goods on a city. Okay, I guess he built something. AI has placed his first track. Tracks must be built from a city or a, continuing, a continuation from owner's link. Payment for tracks. Plus one coin for each track exit. Plus one coin if track is a town. Payment for terrain, plus one coin for river, plus two coins for hills. Okay, so it looks like he paid extra to, to build on top of this river here, I'm assuming. AI has created a link between two cities and is able to move goods between them. He's doing a lot of building. AI has built his third and final track. Notice that he has an unfinished link, which he can build next turn. All right. Now the next player will build. Blocking him. Look at that. AI has built two links because he, is, he has used a town in between. Hexes with towns can only be placed where marked hex shown on the map. Okay. Oh, because of this here? Oh, 
All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm st still a little confused about all this, but we'll, we'll get there. Now it is your turn. You may build four tracks since you have an engineer action card. Your task is to build a link from I Eindhoven to Ninjmegen and from Ninjmegen to Arn. I'm going to be butchering these names. All right. Where's Eidenhoven? Oh, there's Essen. I'm familiar with. Okay. Over here is Eidenhoven to Eindhoven to Nidj and then that's up here on the very top in yellow and then Armham which is further up in blue okay I got it to build a new track drag and drop the track onto the map from the bottom bar drag up to take track and drag side to side to scroll through the what drag up to so I, it, we need more words in these sentences I think once the track is placed in a correct hex you may rotate it to the correct position. Make sure the track is connected properly. All right. So. So I have to take both tiles. Tracks. All right. Is there a different? Oh, okay, I see. Well, what if I want to put this back? Ah, there we go. So I want to do this. Okay, and then, okay, mouse wheel rotates. That costs two. All right, and then this one here. Goes this way. Okay, now I've got to cross this river. Now, how come I got money? Like, I was down to one, so, I'm, I mean, maybe connecting these cities gave me money somehow. All right, yeah, I'm going to have to, like, read the rule book at some point. All right, so I guess we'll put that here and rotate it this way. All right, we paid three for that, but we didn't, I didn't see any income. All right. So, we did. Now what? We connected them, did we not? Is this not correct? Okay, yeah, I'm not sure what it wants me to do from here. I mean, it's pointing. I see that. But I, I connected them. What, what, is it, what else does it want me to do? From here to here and here to here. Yeah, I'm, I'm lost. All right, um, is there like a... Oh. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. These are the goods, maybe. Okay, this is the victor. I wish there were tooltips. Like, the tutorial is definitely a bit lacking, I think. Like, I think it could use a little bit more work. I mean, this was the basic tutorial, so maybe the normal one might be a little bit more involved. But I have no idea what it wants me to do from here. Like, I, I have... Cannot build any more tracks. I get that. So now what? City can only be built on a village. <laughs> Again, I don't know what to do from here. What am I doing? Am I toggling through the different tiles? Oh, I guess these are the, this is a filter. The ones that cost two are here. The ones that cost three are here. Okay, I get it. And this dollar sign is all. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. Okay. Um, can we go? Again, no tool tips. Maybe this check? There we go. Okay, this that check down there. Okay. Now it is time to move goods from city to city so we can gain points. Goods moved must have the same color as the final city destination. Holy cow, that's loud. Number of links you are allowed to travel through depends on locomotive level. AI has locomotive level of 1 and needs to travel across two links, so he will need to upgrade his locomotive level. Any player may do this only once this phase. 
Your task is to move a yellow good to Nijlun. All right, so I can pick that one up. Okay, so we went that way with it. How did I do that? How did I move it here? I thought I could only move it one space. My my engine is only one. So I'm not exactly sure how I did that. Okay, so I hit check down here. Congratulations, you have earned your first point. You may use this point to increase victory points or income level. Since we have a negative income level, we should increase it before increasing victory points. All right, so income. Now AI can move between two links and earn two points. Oh, links, not tiles. Okay, I see. So, basically, a direct link to a city is one link. Whereas here he had a he was going through this neutral town, whatever it is. We have no goods to move. Upgrade your locomotive level since it will help you next turn. All right, down here. All right. Income and expenses. Okay. This screen shows players' income and expenses. If income track is positive, you will receive this amount. If it is negative, you must pay this amount. If a player does not have enough money to pay, they must take out a loan. One income track is five coins. One victory point is five coins. If you have no points and no coins with minus 10 income track, then you have bankrupt. <laughs> Again, a little, little lost in translation there, I think. Notice that player's order has changed. Player's order is determined... Is order, player's order in next turn depends on which card each player has chosen. Players with lowest number action card begins. Uh, okay, so I was right. That does determine player order. Select the urbanization action card. It will allow us to build a city on town and add goods to it. Urbanization. That's all the way at the end. Okay. AI is going to select first build action card. Since AI has selected the first build action card, he will build before anyone else, no matter what position he is in. AI will continue building his links. Tracks that are on the edge of an unconnected track may be redirected with another track. When this happens, only the tracks must be paid for and not the terrain. Remember that AI has engineer action card allowing them to build four tracks. For AI to continue his build, he had to add a track with four exits. It is not allowed to destroy other players' track. Place a gray city to Wessel and create links from Arnhem to Wessel and Wessel to Doy's book. What the heck is that? Oh, okay. So I need, okay, so this? Is that what it wants me to do? Is that, er do not forget to add goods. Well, I guess that the purple one, right? Well, actually, we'd want this one. Because we can deliver two to these purple over, right? All right. Tracks. Okay, so these cost two. Um, uh, now let's go straight with it. I'm, I'm trying to put it back there. All right, so one. Two, and then a curved one. Oh no! How do I undo? 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 How do? So what happens if you mess up? What are you? What are you supposed to do? I mean, oh, there's oh, there's an undo button down there. All right, now how do I get out of this? Escape. 
There. Human, it's your turn. Okay, got it. So one here. One here. One here. And then... Does it matter which one? What color? What's the difference in the colors? I don't understand. This is like a white one. Which, is that a wild maybe? All right. Well, let's try the red one then. Okay. Again, uh, wouldn't, wouldn't the purple one be best here? Because then I could just deliver these down here, right? Place a gray city. Oh, gray city. So how do I... Oh, uh, I mean, I have to do, undo that again. This is... Oh, my goodness. Fine. We'll do this first. Ah, uh, is that it? Yes? Oh, we have to put the goods. Purple. Move a good using three links. Remember to have enough locomotive level. What do you mean three links? I mean... Wouldn't it just be easier just to put it down here? Is that right? Uh, okay, check. Locomotive level is too low. Click the upgrade. Okay. So what exactly does it want me to do? I mean, I... Here. Here's this good. Deliver it this way. Check. Find and move a good using three links. Are you kidding me? Fine. One, two, three. Happy? Yes? Uh, let's go with the income. You can use your opponent's links to deliver cubes, but you must use your own links at least as much as you use any other player's links. For each of for each of your links used, you will earn one point. Okay. Human, would you like to increase victory points? Okay, I guess income. You have completed the tutorial. Please check out the rule book for more information. Keep in mind that the player with the most points wins. Each victory point and each link a player owns is added to the final score. The income track is also adding. <laughs> Positive value income track is divided by 2, then added, although negative income track is multiplied by 2 and subtracted to total points. Okay. There are other tutorials for different modes of game. Which you can play by selecting Play Tutorial and Help section. Please exit and start a new game or continue the current one. All right, let's exit. Okay, so again, I don't fully know how to play this yet. Uh, but in the next video, uh, we'll try a new game, try and figure things out as we go, and hope for the best. So hopefully this gave you a small taste as to what you're in for should you decide to pick up this game. Uh, if you guys do want to see more gameplay, let me know. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to my channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.